What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another... Uh, so we're doing a standard video here today, and uh, I was just talking about the crafting system. Or, the, not the crafting, but the style system in uh, in uh, MTG Arena. And I was just looking at some of these last night, and I was, like, utterly blown away by these. These look fucking incredible. Like, absolutely amazing. These, like, 3D arts that, like... This looks... Un like, these look unbelievably good. I can't even... Like, it's mind-blowing to me. So, like, if you have... And, like, one of the things you can do, uh, which I didn't know about until recently, is that, uh, you know, you go into the... Cra you can go into the style mode and click on something like Seraph, and then... Seraph. Seraph of the scales. And then, for 1,200 gems, all of your Seraphs look like this now instead. And, like... These are, these are just so, like, mind-blowingly good-looking. Like... The amount of effort, I would assume, that is put into each one of these, and to do it on so many different cards, is just, it's kind of mind-blowing to me. And then, like, you have multiple different planes. Like, you can see this this ship in the front is on a different plane than this ship in the background, giving it a real, like, 3D effect. And, like, the water is, like, I, oh, God, I can't get over these, these, these look amazing, dude. Um, I'm sure in the future they're gonna have a, a button that like you can you can click like always apply always apply style so you don't have to individually apply it to every single one of your decks. Um, I can't imagine they would keep that. That seems like a, a silly thing to do. That seems like just something they're gonna implement in the future, I would imagine. Yeah, like you can go like you can click here and if, if I hadn't already done so, which I have, there's a button that says apply styles. You can apply Ryan styles to these. And then He'll ask you, whose card is this anyway? And you'll be like, that's a good one, Ryan Styles. That's a good one. Uh, what is this? Esper. I think they listed this as Esper Invasion. Beca inv invasion. Uh, because of the, uh, the Dreadhorde Invasion. So we'll list it as that. Anyway, that's not even the deck we're going to play right now. The deck we're going to play is this blue lack of mass deck, which is super interesting. Uh, what am I missing from this one? Oh, I think I'm missing, like, one finale of eternity. Oh, I really hate crafting this as a mythic. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to waste anything on another finale. I can probably either open one or open a pack with one. It's just I don't think I'm going to be playing three of these in any other deck, so I'm just going to add, like, a Ritual of Soot. It's very similar. Um, so basically, this deck is cast down dread horde invasion which is the amass component soul diviner which is nice because it's just a two three for two that lets you draw cards thought erasure tyrant scorn four treasure map um this is also interesting because you can remove counters from your treasure map with the soul diviner so i'd like to apply colin mockery and make all the all the people in the arts be bald <laughs> no you can't do that uh, Wizard's Retort, Gleaming Overseer, which is a wizard, uh, worth noting. So is Soul Diviner. So both of these are beneficial to Wizard's Retort. Uh, God Eternal Kefnet, which is just gas. Vraska's Condemned, two Enter the God Eternals, two Lilianas, and then some lands. So this deck seems pretty interesting. I'm pretty okay with it. I don't know if it's going to do very well. It went 5-0 in a Magic Online League, so we're going to try it out. And then you got two Duress, three Negate, one Cast Down, three Narset, Parter of Veils. One Cry, one Ritual, one Hostage Taker, one Enter, and two Finale of Eternity. So, let's give this this bad boy a go. Thank you! Oh, thank you. Icarus, thanks so much for the buddy. Welcome. Can I believe five months already? True love, you're kind of keeping the Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Time flies when we're having a good time. Time flies when we're having a good time. Traditional rank. Let's do that. I'm, I'm just removing some of these things. All right. Yeah, this seems fine. Got that two drop. Got that three drop. Oh, what up, Kurtwit? Also, worth noting, Kurtwit has sent us more uh, f fun fun packages. One of them is this grill, 
So those are some fake teeth. Uh, Kerwitz said Mike B should wear these, so I'm just gonna not put them in my mouth. I'll let Mike B do that. And the other one is this monocle. So, uh, you know, now we have a monocle and a fake teeth. So, you know, these are totally normal things to buy people that, that, that you stream, that stream. Totally normal. Totally normal to un unwrap a monocle right now on stream. <laughs> totally normal. There is nothing abnormal about this at all. This is just, oh wow, double gleaming overseer? That's amazing. Uh, these guys are not wizards. Totally normal, guys. Just totally normal. Oh, buddy, boy. Do we play land already? Okay, so we'll just play Gleaming Overseer. I will also Gleaming Overseer. Hexproof and Manasio. Well. Okay. Now say something rackish, yes. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not think monocles, uh, I did not realize they would be this easy to sustain. Like this is effort, this is almost effortless. For anyone who didn't know um, how monocle technology worked, there's little lips on the top and the bottom of the monocle so that it kind of like, you can kind of like lodge it in there so that it just kind of sits there. And it's actually pretty friggin' incredible. What's your opinion on the whole debacle with the Mythic Edition on eBay? Do you think Wizards screwed us? I don't think Wizards, I don't think they intentionally screwed you over. I think it's pretty bad. I think it's pretty rough to, uh, the whole situation is pretty not ideal to be honest with you. So do we actually keep... Do we play another one? I don't think I want to play another one, right? I think I'm just going to keep Cast Down up and keep... Uh... Monocle's cheaper than surgery. Well, I mean, that's 100% true. Uh, pass two attackers. Are they going to attack for... Okay. Pass to the end of combat. Blast zone, huh? Fascinating. You need a smoking jacket and a pipe first. In before Kerwitz sends me a smoking jacket and a pipe. Oh uh, yeah, we're definitely keeping that on top. Even though... Even though we need to land. I guess we still have things to do. Man. It does kind of get... Uh, you, could, you definitely notice it. You're like, oh man, there's a thing in my eye. You look like you're ready to rob a train on horseback. You think the guys robbing the trains wore monocles? You don't know anything about the Wild West. Wild Wild West. I'm gonna play this now because next turn this is a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, Tantrum, I literally just went over this. That's hilarious. I'll go over it again for those who just got here. There are little ridges on the top and the bottom which kind of like place themselves under your under your eye bones. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. He said under your eye bones. I bet they put a counter on this and they just blow all these things up. That's pretty good. I should have... I should have prepared for such a... For such an eventuality. Um, button then. Hmm. Seems good. Well. Joke's on you. <clears throat> I got all the things. I guess they just blocked the... 
I can't double block, right? Like, that seems bad. I saw the movie one time. <laughs> You sure did, buddy. You sure did. They have two cards. Is one of them a counter spell, you think? I mean, I'd rather just gain a million life here. They're gonna, they're gonna wizard retort this. Oh, Sinister Sabatuji. Okay, you got it, my dude. <laughs> um. They're going to two after this, this Dread Horde invasion? Yeah, but now they're just gonna Eternal our guy. Make this a 7-7 seven, seven and attack for seven. Hmm. They did not do that. I see. That is a good card. 100 Manasio bits. 100 Manasio bits. I would have liked to activate this during my upkeep so I didn't draw the swamp, but here we are. Well, they just die next turn, right? Like, this doesn't... They didn't answer to their own Dreadhorde invasion. <laughs> that ain't gonna do it. There are so many Keep an open mind. <clears throat> uh, okay. No, sir. You gain no life. Goodbye. Ah, ha -cha 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 -cha. Okay. Well, duress seems good. Cast down seems pretty miserable. Even though it just won us. It just won you the game, though. I know. Bring in them duresses. Bring in one negate. I'd like another negate. We do have four retorts, though, and four third. Yeah, I think this should be fine. It's a lot of things. Oh, what up, Robert? Oh, oh, Robert. Hey, Rob, thanks for the invite to Endgame, buddy. Rude. So rude, man. What a rude dude. Oh, yeah, I agree. Like, the card that wins you the game, and you're like, you're not even good here. And then the card is like, but I just won you the game! And you're like, no, sorry, dude. So our hand is three counter spells and a thought, thought erasure? That's pretty good. Unless they play a Dread Horde invasion here. That's fine. I accidentally bought a $1,000 foil Japanese Liliana with the alt mono art. I didn't see the extra zero because the price is in Japanese. <laughs> oh, boy, I can cancel. Holy smokes, dude. What have you done? I cannot believe you've done this. Have I seen it yet? Three times. Shut up and take my money. Paying the iron floss price. What is dead can never be picked. <laughs> is that true? Wow. Josh, I'm really proud of your uh, of your dental habits, buddy. Ever since going to the dentist like two years ago, after I hadn't for years, um, I'm like a I'm a two time a day brusher, man. I don't mess around. Dental hygiene is serious business.
I will keep that. Put it in your pantry with your cupcakes. Unless I drink too much and forget. There's definitely been times where I'm like, I'm just exhausted tonight. I'm just gonna go to bed without brushing. And then I feel bad. I always feel bad about it. But, I mean, it's alright. You just gotta be, you just gotta be vigilant about it. One, one to ten in terms of Marvel movie, this is non-spoiler Frank Endgame. Um, I would give Endgame a solid between eight and nine. I have just the trick for this. When I watch a movie, I expect to be emotionally affected. Like, I want to be in invested in the characters. I want to be moved. I want to be, uh... Um... Yeah, I'm going to counter this. I'm not going to counter it back, but that's fine. Um, I want to feel something emotionally. And I feel like Endgame had me at that point uh, for three entire hours. So... Seems good. Well, now I want to kill this thing. Well, nope, I don't like you. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to do it. I don't know what... How, how do I get it to, like... How do I get it to friggin' stop in my upkeep, man? Wait, so you already saw Endgame? I saw it three times. I've seen it three times. I've seen Endgame three times. <laughs> is that... Is that clear? You little nerd. Look what you did, you little nerd. Um... You have to put a stop on your upkeep before... Where is the upkeep? Is this it? This just says stop before next turn. It's just not clear. Well, stop before next turn is dumb. Oh, stop on my upkeep and draw step? What's the difference between this thing and this thing? Like, why do they have two of them? Stop on my second main. Stop at end of turn. Why are there two? I don't understand why there's two. I'm kind of confused that, like, there's two turns. I feel like if I could just understand this and this... Um, I would probably be much, I would be intimately familiar with the interface, but the fact that there are two of these confuses me. Stop after this turn. Stop on my end step. What does stop after this turn means? The one on the right represents the ongoing turn and the ones around the avatars are the next turns. So I could click on theirs too. Oh, that's weird. There's just too much going on here. Put it in your pantry with your cupcakes. Why would you tap two blue for that? I guess it doesn't matter because we can use a clue. Do they have the dumb negate? I don't even have they don't have the good negate or do I have the bad negate? I can't even tell. This is my negate. Okay, I have a good I have the good negate. <clears throat> Just never leave full control. Make the video take hours. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Every time someone has it on full control, I'm like, can you not? Wow, I like that they tapped the treasure map because now I can't draw a card on their turn. That's terrible. That's literal terrible. That was very good.
I hate Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. I mean, you're welcome to that opinion, but I think she's great. Are there any male characters that you hate? Like, I hate Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner. I hate Tony Stark's Iron Man. Is there any, like, or, uh, you know, uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man? Are there any, are there any male characters that you hate? Because that would be, I think that would be interesting. If the only, if the, if the, if the first Marvel character you hate is just the, is Captain Marvel. That'd be interesting. Uh, no blocks here. What's wrong with Mark Ruffalo's banner? This is weird, like... It's weird because I wonder, like, what would be... Better, in your opinion. Well, we can't draw cards. We're just gonna go to the next game. We can't win this. They're gonna draw two cards a turn. And they're at 16, we're at 7. Well, arena tapping my treasure map is bull honky. <laughs> Oh man, I forgot about Taserface. That guy's fantastic. Yeah, I have no issues with Mark Ruffalo's Hulk at all. I think he's a great Hulk. I don't actually know what would be a better Hulk for you guys. Like, that's weird. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what you're like. Well, this would be, I think Hulk would be better if, he, if it was this person. You know, I don't, I don't have like a preconceived notion of who would be a, a good Hulk. So I just have to kind of like, I have to go with what I see. And I'm like, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I definitely don't think Edward, Ed Norton was a better Hulk than, um, than Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. But, I mean, maybe he was. I don't know. Maybe you guys... Maybe that's fine. I don't think that's... I don't think it's wrong to like Ed Norton over Mark Ruffalo. I think that's fine. We got negate, negate, sabotage, enter the God Eternals. Um, let's take the sabotage, I guess. Bottom this. Or, you know, graveyard it. I thought Norton did fine. I just think that Mark Ruffalo is better. I don't feel like... I don't get a scientist vibe from Ed Norton. And I get a scientist vibe from Mark Ruffalo, which I think is important. Also, the fact that, like... You're going to take the treasure map a bit. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Like, I think the portrayal... No spoilers, but I think the portrayal of Hulk in Endgame has been the best so far. I really enjoyed what they did with Hulk. No spoilers, please. Did you draw? Is this a, is this a wizard short? Holy shit, come on, dude. You hit Thought Erasure, Sinister Sabotage. That's incredible. I thought the CG was fine. I had no issues with it whatsoever. I think anyone complaining is like kind of an idiot and I think they're probably just like they think they're some kind of CG expert when they're actually not. That's my opinion. Like there's really nothing wrong with it. It looks the same as it looks almost better than it did in any other previous movie that had the Hulk in it. So like I don't know. Oh, my phone just got like nine notifications at once. Um, all right. This guy. Oh, next time they can just enter the God Eternals. That's sad. Wish we had a response for that. Maybe they don't draw land. I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't popularity. It was PayPal telling me that... Uh, 
that Josh donated one floss buck, and then it was my email telling me that Josh donated one floss buck, and then it was Samsung Pay telling me that I had 20% off something. And then... And then it was also eBay saying, hey, Avengers Endgame things, or come get your Avengers Endgame things. It was literally like four notifications, uh, two of which were like ads on my phone, and two of which were the same notification that happened 11 minutes ago. So, wait, they negated my Vraska's? Oh, okay, that's fine. I guess that's fine. I mean, Villa, you always got a friend in me, buddy. You got a friend in me. That's pretty strong. Man, activating this, putting a counter on to scry, and then drawing a card. Woo! What am I most looking forward to in this next generation of Avengers after the Infinity Saga? Uh, literally fantastic for anything. Yep, that's pretty good. Don't want that. Well, that's not great either. Can I... All right. Oh, man. interesting. That was a fun matchup. Alright, let's go. I gotta click on this? Come on. Come on. So my thoughts are that <clears throat> they're closing out this chapter of like the Avengers and they're going to need a big super team uh, to be in Marvel. They're going to need a big hero family, like a team. And I don't think there's anything better suited for that than the Fantastic Four. And Thanos is a huge villain. And it took them, they had a 10 year buildup from like way back in... Um, like Iron, like I don't even know if it was Iron. I guess the first Avengers, right? So, um, like it took ten years from like the Avengers up until like Endgame, right? This build up for Thanos, and honestly, Doctor Doom is a bigger villain than Thanos. So if they wanted to do that again, do another ten year journey, I mean, it's it's a good it's a good way to do it with the Fantastic Four. And, uh, and Doctor Doom as your main bad guy. Also, Doctor Doom is grand enough to, um, to really, to really go deep on it. Hunter is dreaming, I can tell because his tail is wagging on the bed. Yeah, they can reboot X-Men too, but I'm just kind of over X-Men as far as movie franchises go. I think they can do better. I think Fantastic Four deserves a good movie franchise. They have yet to have one. And they've been having consistent X-Men movies for the past 15 years. So I'm just like, 
Meh. I mean, whether the X-Men movies have been superb or not is is a little beside the point. I mean, really, they've just had movies for, like, 15 years now, you know? So, like, I think it's... it's I don't think we have to reboot X-Men immediately. I think Fantastic Four deserve um, a reboot here. Logan is very Logan is pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna say very good, but I think it's I think it's pretty good. Shut up and take my money. Commander deck, which option are you doing? The decks have been updated for War of the Spark inclusions. Better description. Ah, oh, I don't know yet. Also, we'd have to do it in like two weeks, right? Uh, yeah, we're just going to pass here. Um, let's actually attack this. I think this is fine. Sloppy technique. How dare you. And, like, I see the trailer for Dark Phoenix, and I'm just like, it just doesn't look good. And I'm not sure if it has much to do with how Sophie Sophie Turner is actually portraying Jean Grey, but I just don't feel it. It just feels like the whole cast just feels like these angsty kids. Like the Cyclops is like, what about Jane? It's, it reminds me of the Tobey Maguire in, as Spider-Man, where like maybe at the time it's kind of okay, but like it doesn't age well, you know? Oh, God. It's so hard to remember this, man. I guess it's my bad. Yeah, you got it. Oh my god, who cares? This deck seems like it's gonna be miserable to play against. Seems good. Wait, what was that? Where did it go? Oh, did they just put it in the graveyard, I guess? Oh, and then they shuffled it back in? Sure. Use Jack Use Hackman? Who's even Use Hackman? Who is that? Who is this? You know, Bert Use Hackman. <laughs> you know, Eugene Hackman. Everybody knows Eugene Hackman. Just mill yourself? 
Come on, nerd. Oh yeah, we're keeping that for sure. Oh, uh, don't need that. One, two, three, four, and then we can keep up Wizard's Retort. Yeah, that seems fine. Can I also just attack the cameo? She's at six, though. That's a lot. Alright, let's go into the main. Man, this guy drawing a card every single turn is insane. Wow, you saw the new trailer for the Joker and couldn't care less about it? I thought the Joker trailer looked amazing. It's one of the most it's one of the movies I'm most looking forward to this year. It looks incredible. That's crazy to me. Um Yeah, that's fine. Pass, pass. Back off, boogaloo, I said, back off, boogaloo. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw another land because we just put that one on the bottom. You ready? Kapow. That's not a land at all. We got Insight, Insight, Root Snare, Blink. The trailer was odd to you? What was odd about it, though? Yeah, Goblin Nick, if there's anyone hyped about the Joker trailer, it's definitely you, my dude. That's hilarious. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Just want to make sure we put a land this turn. One, two, three. We can play another Gleaming Overseer, but I don't think that's necessary. That doesn't explain what was odd, though. His portrayal of the character seems excellent. That doesn't seem odd. That's all I get from the trailer. I don't know anything else about the movie. Yeah, I mean, but that's it. That's a. Tr it's just a trailer, you know. Could not have willed, I could not have wit wizards retorted this faster. Yeah, you probably want to play this now, Chief. Four, five, that's actually fine. <laughs> Done. Mm. 
Oh, tap that again. All right. I should have known. All right, so they have two chemistries in sight and a blank in hand. That seems good. Sure. I don't care about that at all. One, two, you have four mana, so you can only cast a root snare. I guess if you draw two root snares. Oh, they're just going to return the root snare to their hand. No tail should be discarded. Uh, what are we going to do here? I guess just draw a card. Okie dokie. What I'm doing is looking for a second counter spell. Okay, so they're they have they have death. Oh, they have death. All right, so Tyrant's Scorn can come out. Enter the God Eternals can come out, even though I like it a lot. We can take out one Vraska's Contempt. And cast down. We can bring in these three negates. Use two duresses. And two narset, I guess. Seems good. But what do I know? This seems fine. Resolve this. I'm gonna keep the thought erasure till next turn because they don't really have cards they're gonna play on turn three that are super scary. In before they play something super scary on turn three. That seems good. I think we just keep negate up here because next turn we can play. Are we? Mm. We can keep treasure map up. I'm afraid of Wilderness Reclamation for sure. But if they have Sinister Sabotage, I guess we don't need to, to worry about anything when we have Negate here. the third land drop? Fascinating. I am fascinated. What do you got in your little... What do you got, what do you got in your little shit hand? Nexus, Root Snare... Oh, there's a Wilderness Reclamation. If you don't have a Counterspell, why didn't you play Growth Spiral to hit a land drop? That's weird to me. I kind of just want to take the growth spiral. Because we can counter the wilderness wreck. Um, yeah, that seems good on top. Sure. Still no land drop. All right. Well, this is fascinating. All right. I 
I kind of want to get this guy down just so I can start drawing cards. There's only one card we don't know about. If they blink of an eye, it's fine. Like, it's just a one for none. They did not. Oh my god, they're still missing land drops. This is unbelievable. You have a search for us contact. What did you draw and not put in the graveyard? Did you just put an another opt in the graveyard? Hmm. Back off, boogaloo. Here it goes. Blink of an eye, my dude. You got it. I'll keep Negate up forever. Have you thought of playing Flux Channeler in this deck? Not really, but I did not create the deck. I just found it as one of the 5-0 deck lists. So. Put that in your garbage can and then concede, because your deck sucks without Wilderness Wreck. Nice. Nice deck, brah. I just checked up on some prices for World of Spark and it's crazy. The non-full and arson uncommon is like two two cents while the foil is twenty. That makes sense. It seems like a a card that we'll see playing modern and vintage and legacy and things. <sighs> Time for the monocle, guys. Oh no, my monocle fell out. Can you imagine how awkward that'd be if you're at a party and your monocle just falls out? Should I should have put it on this eye? Yeah, this is where it was before, right? Oh yeah, we'll keep that on top for show. I'm going to chart a course and discard an Arclight Phoenix. It was just a lava coil, guys. Finale of Promise, Lava Coil, Shock. This seems like the strongest, right? Glass of grape juice. Of course not wine. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Don't get wine. So we got lava coil, all these things. I'll just treasure map. I'm going to cast an opt, you see. <laughs> yes. Oh, a Sahili. Isn't that cute? How oh, nice. Play that. I hope they think it's a 2-2 and they try to kill it with, uh, with shock. That'd be sweet. Will you let me have some planter's peanuts now? Buddy, it's not up to me whether you have planter's peanuts. You're in charge of your own peanut destiny. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I see. I'm sorry, you cannot kill my soul diviner right now, you say, yes. Will you let me have some of Blanto's peanuts now, yes.
We are all in charge of our own peanut destinies, you'll see. Hmm, yes. This is almost involuntary. When you have the monocle in it, it almost makes you talk like that. I don't really understand you, see. Hmm. Hmm. That's amazing. That is, a, that is an amazing monocle. They have shock in hand, so I'm not going to block these guys. Uh, let's do one of these jobbies. Do -do 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 I'll keep that in the hopes of hitting a land. Man, that was all during our upkeep. Woo. Five little wieners in your hand. Or, you know, on the board, whatever. Can you close the non-monocle eye and say elementary, my dear Bolus? Elementary, dear Bolus. Is that, is that any good? what you guys are here for. This is the high quality content you guys are here for. Yep, that's a good card. Try to course an opt. You don't like lava coil one of these guys? That's fascinating. Oh, I guess you had one already. That's cool. I don't even want to mill them, really. Oh, there's an Arclight Phoenix and a, and, a, and a radical idea. I gave them, I gave them life. probably mill ourselves in this in this matchup that's gonna be my go-to line from now on good I'm glad I could help you got it Okay, well, I guess your goal is to get your Arclight Phoenix back. Good for you. You're welcome. So, the lesson to be learned here is to mill yourself. Really? Six land would be nice here. I mean, that's fine, you could stay.
Wow, how did we win this game? That's insane. <laughs> what? What even just happened? Did they just have nothing? I mean, we were on a four-turn clock. Okay. Uh, Cry of their Carnarium seems pretty good here. Tyrant Scorn, not so good. Oh, did we not? Are we, we only have one Cry? One Cry! Hmm. Cast Down seems okay. Mm, Frasca's Contempt seems good. Enter the God Eternals is nice because of the life gain. Rock and a roll and Narset pollution. I guess that's fine. Rolling Nord Malusion. Uh, keep this in. What card do you want me to brew around for my next deck? Anything you want to try but haven't come up with a brew for yourself? Uh, Oketra. I like Oketra a lot. God Eternal Oketra. Can we do that? Oh, is this a constructed metagame challenge? No, it's not. We could do that. I would, I would, I would like to play a deck that uh, that has a higher likelihood of like crushing. Though. Even though, like, are we one? Are we one zero or two zero right now? I think we're one one. We lost to the mirror match. I think that was our that was our loss here. Wow, triple crackling Drake. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take your Sahili though. I'm gonna bottom this because we want lands right now. They also have no second land? Huh. Fascinating. Good games. Both sides played hard. It's awkward for everybody. What's it gonna be? Good one? No. Not even a playable card. Yeah, Oketra seems really powerful. Like, you can play her and then just sandbag a bunch of one-drops and just be like, 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 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 four. This hand seems great. Oh, it's a watery grave kind of day. Okay. Take that, Liliana. 
seems fine, but I mean, that's like, it's like 10 turns away, my dude. Well, on the bright side, we get to draw at least one card from this guy, which is great. If we so choose. We are not going to attack because I think keeping this guy up, if they try to kill this, we're just going to draw a card. I think that's fine. I think we're going to draw a card anyway, clearly. Mortify or Cry of the Carnarium? Let's get rid of the Mortify. Cry kills like none of these guys, and uh, it's not even that good against our our mass guys because we can just take the counter off, or they're gonna be big enough to survive. Man, look at these tiny zombies getting in there, man. I said man twice in that sentence. Look at the man, look at these tiny zombies getting in there, man. Look at the zombie wizards for days. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't increase our clock to play that guy, so we just won't. If they have like a Kaya's judgment or something, I don't really feel like getting wrecked by it. No, that's pretty good. They're still dead on board, so we don't have to, like, throw anything else out there. Sure. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. Meditate and prepare. Rock and roll is not noise pollution, guys. Uh, let's just... We're going to alpha. They're going to moment of craving here. I think that's fine, because now we can just resolve a Kef now. Keep an open mind. Another Nar set. I don't think that's what you're looking for. I guess you can try again. And you do have enough for Akaya's Wrath. So they're looking at nine cards here. Yep, there it is. Congratulations. Still at three. I have just the trick for this. Yep, that one's pretty good. Uh, why treasure map? Because you can put counters on it and then remove them with Soul Diviner. They did not play Liliana. That's fascinating.
Seems bad. Do this, play Kefnet. Oh, we should have actually bounced that. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, we should have played cast down first because they're going to counter it, and then we should have played to bounce. Like, they'd have one fewer cards right now. This is the deck I'm not looking forward to playing against for the next three months. Well, they have trample. I guess we could have menace if we had one of the uh, the bird boys. God, they just get to block and draw a card every single time. This card is busted. Absolutely bonkers. Yep, and I'm done. I just don't even care anymore. I'd rather blow my brains out than actually sit here and play against this deck. All right, so cast down's terrible. Tyrant scorn terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What two cards are we adding? So we got one negate, I guess. Man, I wish Hostage Tigers could take Planeswalkers, but then I'm sure if it was done against me, I'd be like, mm, I don't want that. Nope, don't like that. Um...
The double black cost card? What is that? That doesn't really narrow it down. Elder? Oh, the Elder Spell? Got it. Two wizards of Tort seems good. Well, they have six cards, but I mean, the time's running out. I don't like countering because they have infinite things they can play next turn between Liliana, Jace, Teferi, not Jace. Uh, like, they just play Teferi next turn and tuck the guy anyway. And then they get a Teferi on the board, so I don't really want them to... Yes, he'd still counter because he wants us to tap out in order to play a Planeswalker. 100%. Got it. Take my treasure map. Treasure map, they never don't have it. Do, 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 do. Treasure map. Pretty good draw. Oh boy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put you to six and draw an extra card this turn. Main phasing, that's pretty interesting. Uh, unless you... Okay, well, wasn't expecting that. I 
Actually, Negate is almost better than Wizards Retort here. Wizards Retort here. Um, because they have basically no creatures, so Negate's going to counter almost everything. And only sometimes do we have Wizards, so... Baby shark do 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 do. Double Drown Catacomb is rough. We are on the draw. Any land here is good. Any land here except for on the Drown Catacomb. Oh, you gotta take my Dreadhorde Invasion. Oh, we're good at this game. Smoke on the horizon. Oh, would you look at that guy? Another thief, a cast down, and a mortify. Uh, I don't care about you that much. Are we going to react Tide Day? Guess I got a tough choice. Wow, that's very good. <laughs> that's very good. Alistair Kane, what's going on, my dude? Cast down and mortify. They're definitely going to mortify this guy. Oh, they're going to cast him down to the depths. Dreadheart Invasion seems pretty aggressive for them because they have. Uh, you know, well, they're not an aggressive deck. I'm just hoping they have a counter spell. They always do. Let's get in there for one. 
if they try to kill this with Mortify, I'm okay with drawing a card instead. Not do, 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 do. This sucks because now they can play this guy, make this a 6-6, six, six, and now they just gain 6 again, so. Yep, we took most of our removal out because we didn't think they'd hit Dreadhorde Invasion and Gleaming Overseer uh, from our deck. Yeah, alright, cool. So I think we're like 2-2 two, two now. Which is not ideal. I wish there was a way to check our our record. Like, I wish I could know like how many wins and losses I just played. Like, I have no idea how many games I just played, and I feel like that should be something that that is that is shown to you. Now I'll play one more. This is capable. Oh my god, the number of Dreadhorde invasions that people are playing is unbelievable. I just got a code for a thing. So I'll have to enter that after this. Don't nobody know my trouble. Ooh, so hard. Oh, the double Dreadhorde invasion, huh? Getting a little aggressive, aren't we? Aren't we? Bedevil moment, chemistry's insight. What do you got here? Take that bedevil. Put that in the trash can. Did we play Land's turn? Yes, we did. Play this guy. Sure. 
Oh boy. Oh, the old gain eight life attack with an eight, eight zombo. Don't nobody know my troubles with God. Ooh. Remember, you guys remember this Moby song? So the medicine hexproof is done. But it will be back again. I actually don't even want to use... Okay, we're just done. I was like, I don't even want to use this because if we do hit a land, I'll just play Liliana. Everything else seems good. They're just like a Grixis control deck with Dreadhorde Invasion. Apparently Dreadhorde Invasion is the new hotness. Were you singing Moby? I literally just said, do you guys remember this Moby song? <laughs> so, I think so, yeah. Yep, duress into Dread Horde seems good. They get to go first though, so they could duress our duress. Or duress our Dread Horde. They did not. Deliver unto evil, that's fascinating. Let's take your thought erasure. Land drop. Oh wow. Yeah, that's no point. So they have this, 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 and this that they can't use. <clears throat> we could just enter the god eternals on this guy, make a 7 7 and attack. It seems good when they have lava, lava boy in hand. three cards. Any of them could be lands. Choose up to four cards in your graveyard. If you choose a Bolus Planeswalker, return those cards. Channel those one that chooses two of them. I choose the cards to leave in the graveyard. And you're tapped out here? Are you dead? Yeah, you're just dead. Just put Chemister's Insight and Search for Escanta in your hand. Wait, that's not what happened. We gave you two thoughts. We gave you two thought erasures instead. My bad. Peace out. 
All right, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it if you're watching on Twitch. I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can also check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns, which is a great, great deal on some super comfortable micromodal underwear. And you can also check me out at manatraders.com. Uh, they have great deals on subscription services for physical paper magic cards or even digital magic online cards. And you'll get 20% off uh, your first three months of any subscription with the promo code and the link in the description. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And uh, you can also find my articles and things at coolstuffinc.com. And uh, you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons again. And I'll see you next time.